back to the body. Uh, I am Dragon Sage, also known as uh, Being Asian Guy. Um, it's actually been quite a while since I last recorded because stuff stuff gone away, and then I got tired. I guess I'm pretty tired and I didn't want to deal with stuff. Plus, I have like s school coming up next week, less than a week or so. <clears throat> so I've been kind of getting ready for that. I'm not looking, I would say I'm not terribly looking forward to going back to school because this semester I'm going like four days out of the week. So, and they were like really super early classes, and I'm, so I'm not really particularly in the you know excited to get up like super early in the morning for class. But in the press, like. Uh, the classes reveal I'll be I'll get out by noon or like something like early afternoon ish. So they'll leave like my what's your day, it'll be fine. Oh yeah, let me see. but yeah, as of some things I wanted to talk about for the recording as well as one I've I know that I have not been recording Sims in a while now, because like I said, uh, I've been kind of busy doing stuff, and then it's like it's always just the kind of feeling of I don't feel like recording right now, so I just don't. <clears throat> and because of that, I just kind of, you know, I just kind of don't record. It's like you know. The feeling of I want to record, but I don't have the energy to record is a better description of it because I feel like I should be recording, but then I just end up going like, "Oh, I'm gonna record now." I'm not up to it anymore because like it's it, it's kind of perturbing. Also, another thing I want to talk about is something my dog did the other few days, like the other day. So apparently the other day, uh, so. My dog, Itsuko, he apparently um, got a hold of one of my flash drives and just destroyed it before I, I even became aware. And the sad part was uh, apparently during the, in the morning, my mom apparently, either, either my mom or my grandmother, somebody saw Zuko with something in his mouth. Which later later turned out, yeah, it turned out, yes, it was toward the flash drive, but because nobody knew what it was, no one just kind of did anything about it. They just kind of let Zuko just, they just kind of gave up and chasing Zuko, and like, and of course, he just kind of, hmm? Nah, clean the shit up, boy. What are you doing? <gasps> I forgot, Dragula's getting older. Are you a, a proper adult now? No, I can't. Mm. Yeah, he's a proper adult. Oh, he's getting older. I hate the passage of time. God, I forgot how broke my character actually was. But, yeah. So Zuko apparently got his hand on my flash drive. He chewed it to bitch. You know, the bits. And I, it upset me because, like... Like... As it would anybody, but like my flash drive had like a bunch of like semi important stuff. Thankfully, I had like most of it backed up on my um, desktop, so I didn't lose all that much. But most of it was basically just um, like templates I saved for After Effects and Adobe, Adobe Premiere and a bunch of like other stuff. So that basically, when I, you know, I either use them as a quick reference or I can use like boot it up and go, 
here's a template, let me just make some minor modifications and we can just, you know, do whatever. Like one of the things I completely lost, which was not backed up at all, was like the you know how like in my sense videos? In these videos, like every in every video, like the beginning you see like the little intro where like after the my title one. That one that one's gone forever now. Like I could easily so basically now it forces me to like I still have like the file, not like the video of it. But unfortunately if I wanted to if I wanna modify it, I had to like basically make a whole new one. Which I am planning to do anyway, since like for the next generation, I was gonna make another entirely different um intro. But now it's pretty much like oh right, now I can't just use you know, something to reference it. Now I gotta do it completely from scratch, which is probably which in retrospect is probably for the best. It still doesn't help that I'm still annoyed that my dog just ate my flash drive and now I'm kinda pan now I was like for a while I was kinda panicking just angry at him. I was like, I don't know what I lost. And then I thought of after but after some thinking I was like, you know what, I probably gonna lose all that much important stuff. She's angry. She's not that mood. Hey, what day? Oh, it's Sunday, so no one has to do anything. I think. You work, and you don't. But yeah. <laughs> but we had some but that while well, that was kind of annoying, just got over it, just kinda of just got over it for a bit. Other than that, I have been playing a lot of League of Legends again with some friends. Unfortunately, no one's really been on together with me, so I can't do videos. In fact, as I'm speaking right now, I'm uploading a video of um last time of like our last session we had together with, with our friends. Unfortunately, I had to like break it like two two. I'll have to break it up two different videos because it just didn't gel together. I don't know. Desperate for fun. Everyone go do stuff. No, go fucking play your video games. Jeez. Calm down, people. Get relaxed. But yeah, as for the league video, I had to break it up into two different videos because, like, the first half of the session and the second half were like completely two different types of tones, and like and the tones of the, the entire tone of the video just completely shipped. So I was like, you know what? That pretty much deserves to be its own type of video. So like the first half is just gonna be like a, like a video of just us playing Ascension together. And the second video is just gonna be like us just kind of, you know, just dealing with like random people, and uh, while we were playing like just regular Summer's Rift. No. Oh, stop being sad. Stop being sad. But yeah. 
after a while, we started um. So yeah, about that. So about the, uh, it's one thing I wanted the town I want to talk about like, because I really wanted to record, but I just couldn't for a while. But like, oh, like a few weeks ago, I got a little angry about this. Um, yeah, I imagine that the aviation guy got angry, but um. <laughs> but I wanted to make a video talking about this. So basically, one day I logged on onto League and started. I was gonna play a few games. But I kind I just wanted to get like, you know, an S. I just want. I just really just want to get like an S or something to play with. Like I just wanted to like, get like an S on a champion because like to get another chest to unlock. However, I couldn't actually get the. I'm at a point where it's like yeah, most champions I still haven't got a chest on yet for the season. I can't get it. It's difficult to get a chest because A, I don't play the champions enough to actually be skilled enough to actually be good enough to get a chest. So my only hopes left is basically to play with other people and hope they get an S, which will unlock the chest for me. So I get. So I'm just kind of sitting there. Uh, I, I'm about to queue up for a solo game because like screw it because like, no one else was on. But then like these people who are actually like my random who were like, I randomly added to my friends list like a while back. They, um, they invite me to a game. So, and I accepted and we went in and we played a game together. But here's the thing. We, we started playing together and it was like, there was two of them. It was a duo queue plus me. Uh, one of them went mid, the other one, another one went bot. What are you doing? But yeah, it was a, like a duo queue and it just bothered. And, um. A duo queue plus me. One of them went mid, the other one went, went jungle. Which would have been fine, because that's, that's fine. I, like duo queues don't know we have to play in the same lane. Like, it's like a lot of times, like a lot of times you do. But you know, I think it's better if you don't play in the same lane if you're duo queuing. But unless you know, unless you're like you really on, unless you're just really good together, and that by that point just do whatever. Yeah, that's a nice, that's just a nice thing. But um, which would be fine. But then, like, this one point, I'm playing an Ash against a Vayne. And for the most of the early Lenny phase, I'm actually controlling... I actually have this Vayne on lockdown. I am controlling her, I'm keeping up. I'm, I'm actually was... I was either keeping up or was well ahead of her in CS. Or, like... Or was I was ahead of her in, like, CS. How... Ever, which prompted you know them to go. I'm gonna get go ahead and just gink. And then the enemy jungle's like, I'm just gonna gink. Yeah, I'm just like I was gonna go and gank this lane. Basically, I got ganked like three times. At which point, you know, the enemy vein like got super fed off that, and our jungle, the person I was doing, uh, doing queuing with, didn't bother to gank mid. Oh, oh no, okay, that's not correct. He did gank bot once, but it was such a half-ass gank. He was just kind of just, I'm gonna walk into lane, and then I'm gonna walk out of lane. It was not like an, any a good gank by any measurement at all. It was just. No, my dog just jumped off the bed. Um, it, was, it was not a good gank by any measurement whatsoever. He didn't gank at all, and this, which led to like the one thing, the one thing that will drive me up the damn wall about League of Legends and like people duo queuing each other, duo queuing with each other, and like 
I've got I've gone over this I've gone over this particular instance, but it did trigger something in me. Like this this happens. And I hate it when this happens. It's basically the moment of when you do a kill with somebody, like you you're playing the game and you happen to be on the same team with somebody who's duo queuing. Like a but like two or three people just playing together. Then you can, and then you can sleep. Go to work, lady. But basically, the whole, the whole s stupid thing I hate is one person will fuck up. Like in this instance, basically. The jungle never ganked for anybody. Like the jungle never ganked at all. In fact, a number of times I wish I really wish I was recording so I'd have actual evidence of this, but I don't. But um basically the jungle just ganked. Like what oh not even there are a number of times where the jungle just sat there, watched me die, and then did something. It it's it's ridiculous and like of course it was one of those things where like oh so and so like like there's a and here's the part where i hate do why why i really hate like not all duo queues do this not all of them but when it does happen it's like when it's very blatantly you are duo queue and you stick up for your t and you stick up for the person that's duo queuing i understand sticking up for your friend that's i have no problem with that you stick up for your friends especially when they're actually you know when they're actually, you know, be when you're act when when like people are just like, accusing them of shit and like that they're not actually guilty of, stick up for them. However, when they are clearly and blatantly in the wrong, you defending them is not helping anything. It just perpetuates like a stupid ignorance of um. It just perpetuates like stupidity among yourself. That you're basically going, oh, this character, like, oh, um, I don't have to be a better, I don't have to learn how to be a better jungler. I don't have to, I don't have to learn how to be a better player of the game. I can just, you know, do the, do what the fuck I want. Like, it doesn't matter. I can't lose this game. And it doesn't matter. It's not my fault we lost. It's because that shitty, you know, people have that mentality of, it wasn't my fault. It was somebody, even though it's clearly your fault. It's like the jungler's fault that we lost. It's very blatant because he didn't gank for anybody at all. He was just kind of in jungle. He didn't even know how. To, I, I will assume that he didn't even know how to, you know, do jungle properly. It's like I, don't, I highly doubt that he even knew how to do jungle properly. He probably didn't. It's probably his first off. But it was like immediately that instance of. So like, like they both just blamed me, said I suck because I, which I could could I have done better as, yeah probably, but at the same time like I would have done much better if like I got a gank, which I never got, like a legitimate gank. I never got a legitimate gank. I never got any help whatsoever. And like, not only but again I'm not talking about this particular instance. I'm talking about like other instances where like. People just blatantly love to like they'll just like defend their duo and just like talk down talk down to everyone else who isn't part of the duo like oh Zeus like you're no you're the, like no even though your teammate is your your duo partner is clearly the one at fault but no you just you're just gonna either gonna troll or you can or you're completely blind and ignorant to the fact of you're just like you're so blind and ignorant to the fact that your partner is complete shit. Cause I've actually like I've actually had like another game like that before. Where like the one most one of the most memorable games I ever had. Where like obviously where like blatantly this was a duo queue. Like they were at least at least duo queuing. And like they were just and it was just a case of I'm just gonna talk shit about everybody. I'm just gonna talk shit about everyone else in the team 
accept my deal with you, partner, because she's going. I was like, because I was supporting somebody as um, I was supporting. I'm playing. I was playing support Nami, and the DOQ was the ADC in the jungle. The jungle ends up like I'm doing everything I can to basically to basically um support this ADC as best as I can. I'm doing everything I possibly can. We're leaning. We are leaning against a Caitlyn. If I know, yeah, a Caitlyn. It's definitely Caitlyn because uh. And I think he was playing, my ADC was playing like a Varus, and that was a Nami. I don't remember what the jungle was, but I, that's not important at all. But basically at one point, uh, during that game, the jungle, like, he's just talking shit about me, saying that I'm shit. This pool, like, Nami, what the fuck is wrong? It's like, I'm doing everything I can. Be, my way, my way. Much, notice that I did not mention that the enemy support, because the enemy support didn't connect. Basically, we were losing a a one v two lane. Why? Because my ADC could not handle it. Apparently, he could not handle anything on his own. And I'm doing everything that, and, and which is really sad because he's just losing this lane. I'm doing everything I can to keep him alive, and at one point, um, and he's just blaming me. Like, meanwhile, he's, we have this um ADC, not ADC. Um, we have this like jungler, just consistently berating, like, berating and blaming me for every little single thing. That is just. Mm. But she ended up um, but the stupid, like at one point, I even like. Caitlyn ulted her, like, or Varus. And, you know, like, a good support. Like, any support anybody should do. Like, you line up with the ult to block it. And I even, I speed boosted myself, like, you know, with Nami's passive. And then I flashed to line up with it. But my stupid ADC was consistently running away from me. And then he, like, but he, and he, of course, I couldn't match up in time because he was running the opposite direct. Because he was just running away from me. And so he ends up dying, and so immediately my uh, the, the guy jumps on me again, like his duo party jumps on me again and goes, "No, I mean, what the fuck is wrong with you? You should have blocked that." And I'm like, "Oh my god, I tried, I tried so hard, but your dumbass friend just kept running." And like it was super blatant that you know at the at the end of the day, it's like that's the reason why I hate duo Q douchebags. You're not helping each other. Look. You're not actually helping each other. You're just giving each other like, like you're not improving. Like, at the end, at the end, like what? What's the point? Because at the end of the day, you're not improving each other as as players. You're basically just locking each other in to the mindset of we don't have to improve. It's everyone else's the problem. It's not us. And you're basically just circle jerking, circle jerking each other, and saying, yeah, we're not, we're not the problem. Like, it's not me that's a problem. It's it's the it's the t other people. It's like no, you have to at least admit to yourself that you might be the problem of why you're losing. But you know, you just kind of keep with the stupid logic. <sighs> and anyway, uh, yeah, this recording has gone off like way longer than I uh, than I intended because I got to that rant. But um, uh, again, yeah, um. We haven't got that much done in this video, but screw it. And I think it's gonna be a good place to cut off for now until at least. Yeah, I wanna cut this off now because I don't want this video to go on too much longer and I don't really have all that much to talk about. And I'm kinda getting tired, actually. So this might be one of those other things where like, I don't do a like, consecutive session, recording session. I might pick it up tomorrow. But, alright. See ya.
from their knees.